just chanel here hey guys just chanel here back with another video i look super shiny i just did my skincare routine so i haven't put my spf on yet which usually mattifies my face some I don't know why I'm so red right there. But anyway, uh, back with another video. Today's video is a what's in my flight attendant lunchbox. I'm getting ready to go to work and I meal prepped quite a bit of food last night. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what I bring on my trips and how I pack it in my beautiful crew lunchbox. This lunchbox is from eBags. I've had it ever since I started training and it is like the best best lunch box ever i recommend it to really to anybody that packs lunch like even if you don't travel i mean it's amazing so i'll leave that link down in the description box but let's go ahead and get into the video because y'all know i'll be running late and i always decide to film right before i have to go to work like it's so bad but yeah yes yeah, so what's in my flight attendant lunch box so this is everything I'm bringing on my trip. Starting off with the kombucha, I like to bring some sort of beverage on my trips because you get sick of drinking water sometimes. So I'll bring kombucha or club soda with me and sometimes I'll even bring wine. But today I'm trying this jalapeno kiwi cucumber kombucha. Uh, I'm really excited to try this. I usually always drink one on my way to work and then I keep one in my purse and then I keep one uh, in my actual lunchbox. But moving into the lunchbox itself, so on the way to work I also generally I eat either like on the way to work or as soon as I park in the parking lot I'll eat. So on the way to work today I'm eating this shrimp. This is curry shrimp with just a little bit of zucchini and squash. I really eat like very small portions on the way to work because I don't like to feel too full. But yeah, this is really like a little snack. Um, usually I'll eat oatmeal in the morning on the way to work or like some fruit or something. And then I just have an apple and an avocado. Boom, boom. Some nice veggies and fruits. Or technically, is avocado considered a fruit? I think avocado is actually considered a fruit, possibly. A couple snack items. So I have hummus today that I'm bringing. I usually bring either hummus or guacamole. This is... Like, I think it's sun-dried tomato hummus and I just have some carrot sticks. So I always bring something that like some sort of dipping snack. <laughs> and I always make a salad because you know, you gotta get your veggies in and sometimes when you meal prep veggies, I feel like by the end of the second day, the third day, um, veggies can get a little tricky. So I like to just pack a salad because it stays really fresh without like having to worry about smushy cooked vegetables if that makes sense i don't know then i have my salad dressing this is a balsamic vinaigrette i just put it in this little rubbermaid container i also always bring fruit with me but y'all know i'm on this pescatarian little diet type thing and i'm also still trying to do low carbs so i just have blueberries with me today these blueberries are so good if you watch the grocery shopping vlog you know how much i was talking about the blueberries even though i dropped them in the cart but if you haven't seen the video, make sure you check it out. So I have three complete meals here. And the first one is kind of like a shrimp burrito bowl with no corn. <laughs> I need to add some cilantro to this actually. But tomatoes, kidney beans, the curried shrimp that I made, a lime, asparagus, and then I have a little bit of rice and quinoa at the bottom. The next meal I have packed is like some tilapia with sauteed spinach. Ooh. And a pineapple cilantro rice. So that is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I, this is the reason why I pack a salad because this amount of vegetables I feel is not enough for a full meal. Like I definitely believe in doubling your veggies. So I'll probably eat some of this and then also eat some of the salad. Moving on to my final meal that I packed. Also, of course, pescatarian. I have a lot of rice going on today. Speaking of me trying to stay low carb, this is actually the exact meal I had for dinner last night. So good. So this is like a Caribbean salmon and then I made some garlic asparagus and then just wild rice. I'm really excited to eat this. I try to make sure um, everything that I cook, I either cook it like the night before or the day of my trip, just so it all stays super fresh. Now, moving into some other compartments in the lunchbox, I keep my almond butter here on the side. 
so I just have the Justin's almond butter here, which I use for my oatmeal. And if we visit the top of the lunch box, I have a ton of tea and vitamin C packs at the top. Y'all know I love Sips By, so I get all my tea from Sips By. I just throw a bunch of different teas in here. I try to make sure I have a good mix of like high caffeine and caffeine free teas, just depending on uh, what time of day it is at work. And then I have a little keto coffee in here in case I want something different. And of course, if you are a flight attendant, you already know you have got to keep your emergency on deck because these folks be nasty. And the moment you feel like you're getting sick, you may not be able to get to a doctor or get to like a drugstore to get medicine. So taking two of those and a little bit of water is perfect. Then in this little dry compartment, I keep popcorn. I love taking popcorn like everywhere I go because it just is like the perfect snack and it's a great hotel snack if you find something good to watch on TV, but you don't wanna leave your room for anything, at least you have some popcorn. I think all travelers should just have like popcorn in their bag. Uh, I also have tuna. So these are the little individual tuna packs. I'll probably eat half the salad with tuna, like make a tuna salad. So that's like another complete meal. Have some almonds. These are actually from the plane. A keto bar, just a little snack if I need a pick me up or some extra protein if I'm not able to um, eat if I'm super busy. And then of course my favorite, my oatmeal. I make oatmeal every single morning whenever I work. It's my go-to breakfast on the go. I put a scoop of almond butter in my oatmeal and then always eat it with fruit and it's just so delicious. Oh, and then just over on this side, I have some foil because if I ever have to warm up my food on the plane, like in a coffee mug or something, sometimes I bring a glass container, but of course there's no foil on the plane, so I will use this. And then I have a little mint because, you know, plates get hot and stuff. This front pocket is where I keep all of my essentials. So I have things like a toothbrush. If I wake up from crew rest and I need to brush my teeth, boom. I don't think I have any toothpaste in here though. I'm pretty sure I ran out. But uh, wet ones to just wipe my hands if I'm not like near a restroom. Some mints to keep my breath fresh. A pen, because you should have a pen in every bag that you own. I mean, if you don't have a pen, you're just not prepared for life. I never want to be the person that's like, oh, can I borrow a pen? <laughs> uh, some lip balm, palm olive, because sometimes I'll wash the dishes that I bring the Tupperware containers just so my lunchbox doesn't stink. And then flight attendants, we usually always have this little, I, I think this is what you use like to line your kitchen drawers so things don't slip and slide around. But this um, little piece of material is amazing for opening the liquor bottles, the alcohol bottles on the plane, because uh, it can it's a struggle if you're opening like 20 and then your hands get all just sore. So that really helps. I also have my can popper in here. This is a flight attendant essential, like for real, for real. So you pop your cans. And that way you don't mess up your fresh mani. And then in this pocket, I keep a couple first aid items. So I have like band-aids, gloves, gauze. And these are just items that I like to keep in my lunchbox because if I'm in the concourse and I don't have access, like immediate access to a first aid kit, at least I know I have something that can help somebody. Like if someone busts their head wide open and I wanna help them, I'm not touching anybody that's bleeding without gloves, but I got gloves in my lunchbox. Uh, tie to go pin because you know if you spill something on yourself or sometimes even on a passenger I mean the least you can do is offer them the tie to go pin I also keep hand warmers in here because sometimes we go places well actually all the time we go places that are super cold and if you're at the boarding door yeah you just need hand warmers because I had a bad experience um, anyway Neosporin because you know, if you get a cut or something, you need more than alcohol and a band-aid, so meals form. And a Ricola, in case you get a little cough cough. Uh, I have a quarter down here. Hmm. This quarter has been here, I'm sure, forever, but we're just gonna boom, boom. Thank you guys so much for watching this What's in My Flight Attendant Lunchbox video. I gotta run to work. So I will see y'all in the next one. Make sure you are subscribed and those post notifications are turned on. Follow me on Instagram, of course. And yeah, see y'all in the next video. Bye.